So forget about his confidence. Match. Francisco Sanchez forget race about the break. his winning streak this season. His break. I would guess over the whole tournament, him getting position on the lowest numbered ball on the table. I think 25% more on average than the rest of the field. Yeah, maybe you're right, but you know yourself, Alex, this is all about what happens from now on in, and it's difficult for us to see if we can see the potting angle here, but even if he could, this is not an easy opener for Sanchez, and what he has done good this week is he's, well, he's just simply continued his fantastic form and played a really good nine-ball pool. Looked a little tired early on in the week, didn't he, Alex? A couple of, you know, the first two or three days, obviously just flown in from the States, and then since he's got over his little bit of jet lag that he's had, he's really kicked on. Yeah, good point. As you put it, from here on out, it's single knockout. Today, or the past week, or the past year, it doesn't matter. Push Who out gets cold. the rolls? Who performs? Who keeps his cool because it's going to get <coughs> heated up. Yeah, we've been here for eight days now. Day and night sessions. Played a lot of matches. All these four players have played 29 race to fives up until this point. So you don't want to get yourself into the semi-finals and just think it's another match. You've got to try and kick on a little bit, haven't you? Hmm. Took the bait. It was a difficult pot, and he needed to force the cue ball for some sort of position. If you make it, you look good. But that's the thing that you can do being FSR, you have a legacy, you have a reputation, people get scared or impressed and they think if I give it back he's going to make it. Yeah, the other semi-final has just started over on table two. Shaw's just broke off. Oh, Drive break board. over there. So Sanjin's at the table with a good look at the one ball. Sanjin, well, I think it's fair to say he deserves his place in the semi finals. He's played some good stuff this week, the young man. Nice hit by Nayuki Oi. With the second safety by FSR. It's a straightforward one. I expect him to get it. The question is, how tight can he put the cue ball above that six? Right? Yeah, yeah he's playing the safe. I believe there's a gap there, so he's let that one go. He could get the cue ball over to the side rail and guarantee. There's a poor one from <laughs> Sanchez Ruiz. Now, Oi will be happy. At the table. Can cross the two ball. Needs to be wary of the corner pocket, low left. Hmm. I wrongly assumed he would duck. Taking two difficult shots on the two. And getting away with Extension it, maybe. Cold. That's a good thing for Oi, you know, for the rest of the match. To not get overly aggressive. Can, he can hit the two off of the long rail, it's harder. He's looking to hit it off of the short rail. Yeah, what do you do? Clip it. in, bring the cue ball back to you. Riding his luck. 
the thing is, the thing is, with some kicks, you can't always play to make a move. In this case, he thought, do I have a future hitting it soft? <coughs> nah, don't think so. So, so then hard. That was all the reasoning behind it. At first glance, it looked like he got away with it, but there you see, he actually left the perfect little potting angle. Can come off the five, and then top side of the four. I think it's that angle. Yep. Run of the ball is always important in nine ball, and I say that because Nayuki Oi has attacked too difficult two balls, missed them by quite a margin, but got away with it. Yeah, let's not forget it's now a race to seven. You can see there on the bottom of your screens. All week we've been, <coughs> been playing race to five. Semi-final, final, it's now a race to seven. So that will just, just relax the players a little bit. That maybe gives you a, another extra chance to form a comeback if you're down. Feels like an eternity after playing 29 races to five. Travels just far enough so he can queue past the eight ball. Eight ball's not in the way. Or is it? It is. Really changed his game over the last couple of the years, New Kyoi. When he was edgy, he used to laugh and giggle at the table and engage with the crowd. I know there's no crowd here this week We're playing this event behind closed doors, but the fun and games have stopped from New I think he's realized he wants to win a tournament. There you go, where's the back? Yeah, it's all business. On the match table, as in the practice area. This is day eight. All eight days, he has been business, oozing his determination and grit. Has showed a lot of that. Pelovanovic just took the opening rack on the other table. You want to watch that match as well? Head over to Matchroom Multisport. The second rack, now you can't break. YouTube channel. Leading one rack to nil. Why not sweat both semi finals at the same time? <coughs> Typical for Oi's break throughout the week. A lot thicker on the one ball than other players. Because he hits thicker, there's more transition of the backspin on the cue ball, which becomes topspin on the one. That's how he tries to manipulate the one into the side pocket. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Now, what to do with the five? I don't think he has any other option than stun this three ball in and try to get <coughs> close to the short rail. And see from there what to play. Yeah, Alex, out of the four players that we have left, we all know what Francisco has been up to. He's been rampant Ruiz for the last 14 months. He's won a lot of, you know, the nine ball tournaments. But sure, Pelovanovic and Oya yet to lift silverware in an individual event in the matchroom arena. I don't think that's a bad attempt. I, that, that's really good from where, from where he was. He can also play the five off the back of the six, but then would need to get shape on the six ball. This was easier. So many times I'm just pointing out the alternatives, the things that will go through a player's mind. 
and they go through Oi's mind real quick at the moment. He's in gear. He's upping the pace. Yeah, this is just the start the Yuki Oi was dreaming for. Very intense looking FSR. He'll break, it's an alternate break format. He's warned, the Spaniard. Nayuki Oi wins the rack. <coughs> it's go time for Nayuki. Yeah, table two, you can just see in the distance, Jason Shaw's rolled the nine ball in, he ties table two up to 1-1. One, one. I believe Ivanovic had a chance in that second break. Don't know exactly what happened. But the action on table one is fast and furious. Yeah, Pelovanovic had the two ball over the pocket rack, and he decided Sanchez to try and draw it in and come around the next spinner. ball, the three ball over it and hooked himself right behind the ball. So it's a, yeah, a mistake. So, so that, that forced draw with the object ball close to the pocket, that's the shot that Oi made with that four ball so close and he put himself in a good line for the combination. That was a great shot. No, and at least... At least two good shots needed from FSR. Long two ball to set himself up in a good line on the three eight. If you if you would have to choose, would you rather be close to the three or a little longer in the good line? I'd rather be close on a good line. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, oh, I'm, I was never very good at these combinations, so. No, but you can ask yourself yeah. the question. Like, from when you're close, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can still play safe. You can go off of the rail that's on from here, especially on the sliding table. So the three into the rail, into the eight, and then into the corner. Four ball's a little tricky, though. The yeah. Pink four ball. Ones. Yeah. If he plays the three eight, he can manage position on the four. Well done. No, he cannot. Thought he would. What does he have? He can... It's too much angle to draw into the four. So he's looking at the bank. Come right above the nine. This is short. He can still stiff the bank. He can make it, but it'll be difficult to get on the five. This is the kind of bank that we spoke of with Elvin. So Elvin earlier the week, he slammed this bank to make it come short. Can he not just kill the cue ball there with a bit of right? Yeah, just like that. Leave yourself a shot on the purple five. Yeah. Good table management now. Good table management in that he's not trying to get a better shot on the five. Now, Extension comes code. all down to this cut on the five. This is where he excels. But results from the past are no guarantee for the future. You have to prove it time and time again. Mm -hmm. That's a stroke, hit that pure. You know, many players would have been favored to make it, but it, it makes it different if it goes in clean or off of the long rail. Difference for how it makes you feel. Nice rack there That's from Ruiz, nice the world rack. number one, the current world nine ball champion, the man who has sat at the top of the table after eight days play, wins a rack, he trails 2-1.
if you've just joined us and you've missed the start Track of this four. semi-final. Now you go to break, leading by two racks to one. You have just missed a classic Sanchez Ruiz finish. He was up against it. He made a good run out. Cue ball's close. Oh, it's the top jaw. Is it going to be dry? It is. Dry break. Yeah, it was a great out by FSR. Putting pressure on Oi. Fast and Furious, two wrecks, it's all good. But I'm still the world number one. You don't scare me. Now on the other table, Jason Shaw has made a tremendous shot on the two. Beautiful safety. Now getting an angle from the one towards the two is easier if he, pla if he plays it with speed. This is what he intended. Wow. Tells us he sees enough of the two to go for the two, three combination. I've watched Sanchez play over the years, especially when I became, you know, when I worked for the Dutch Federation. I came along to the tournaments. I saw him there, always good, winning a title here and there, but very much in Okadi's shadow. So it's, it's still, it still marvels me Extension how code. he, after so many years on the tour, has clicked into gear. This explosive progress. There's so many things right. All the little intricacies. Offense, defense. Game management. Energy management. Very able to stay in the groove without overdoing it, without getting ahead of himself. Now again, one of those shots, the seven, not difficult, he'll make it. But he makes him going clean more than other players. <coughs> this has been a good response, this. Doesn't matter, you know, whether you're in the best season of your pool career, the fact that you were two down and he's not had roadmap. Roadmap means like an easy finish, dot to dot, where you expect the players to clear. He's had two tricky finishes and he's took care of them both. Two, two. Yeah, and over on table two, Jason Short. He's 3 1 up now over Pelovanovic, so. Early signs that Shaw's looking good to make the final here. Yeah, you, you said a good season for FSR, an exceptional season. It's unlikely that anyone Track in the five. near future race to break to will do the same. It's unlikely anyone in the future will hold multiple world titles, a US Open title, dominating the European scene all at the same time. And he's not ready to be halted, FSR. Very much in the race to add this Premier League pool title to his CV. Assessing where to push out to. When playing a push out, you 
very much consider your opponent, his or her weaknesses, strengths. Extension code. Smart player, Sanchez. To the credit of David Orcady. Push out code. Hmm. I would give it back. Don't see what he could play here. Yeah, m maybe. What I see is thin. Just cut the one towards the third, second diamond on the left. But the scratch, top right, is super difficult. I think he can put that in the top right. He's looking at another pocket near the eight ball. Why? Why? Same thing in rec one. He took on a very difficult shot off of FSR's push out. Code. Let him play it. I want to see what FSR does. I don't think he'll attack. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty, Alex. That's why you sat in the comp box with me today. <laughs> <laughs> the three-quarter pocket. Cubo buried between the jaws. Beautiful. Sometimes you just fancy the shot, though, don't you? Yeah, no, but good point. That's why I'm here. And he's there because these champions, they... They play with courage in the face of adversity. You don't win titles by ducking. <coughs> Beautiful shot. Any angle, 30 degrees, 45 degrees. Assessing if he can this can get this back over the side pocket. I think he tried. He tried to come over it. the side pocket on his right. <coughs> no, yeah. what do you think? Or still on that side of the side pocket, but half a diamond further? Yeah, I'm not sure. All I know is this is very thin. He's playing the bank shot, is it? Yeah, he is. It looks close. It looks a little high, actually. Oh, what a mistake. What a mistake from Oi. Eight to the nine is going to cost him this rack. This is bread and butter for yeah. Sanchez. This is the type of shot you've been talking about, Alex. He smooths these balls yeah. in. Always plays it just nicely to the right-hand side of the pocket. He knows if he hits the rail, this ball will fall. Just like that. Look, that, no, that he doesn't play it into the long rail. Yeah, that was center. So, yeah, all the time. It's amazing. It <laughs> Unbelievable. Big mistake by Oi. So, <laughs> what will Oi think? What he played on the eight to the nine, was it a good choice but executed poorly or should he have played a different route? It's easy to say, well, the choice was okay, Rack I should have just executed yeah, better. Break, but by three racks to two. that execution comes from somewhere. 
the player of his culture does that for a reason. Anyway, he's now fallen behind in this match. After making that great shot on the one off of FSR's push out, painful, frustrating, but needs to focus on the shots at hand. Yeah, on table two, Sanjin's just missed the pink four. He's been very fortunate. Jason Shaw's fuming with him, absolute fuming. They can change matches. Let you know how that rat goes on. Oh, he's got a tough pot here. Oh, he's potted a few like that, though. Don't know how much of a pocket he has for the three ball. The carom on the eight is very makeable. Position after the carom a little bit harder. That helped. Double kiss on the three. Now stay in your rhythm, but take enough time to assess the right shot. Can't afford to make too many unforced errors. A lot of elevation. Now, would you try to get the right angle and possibly on the rail? Proposition on the five or just come back one, two balls with an angle but off the rail? I think he's got a slight angle. All he's got to do is pull it over a bit. Well, he's, he's playing a different game to what I'm seeing, that's for sure. Pressure. Pressure and fatigue. This is match 30 for the UK. Cutting to the pocket on the left. Yeah, a glaring error from the four to the five. It's going to cost him. Should cost him two big mistakes in five minutes. Was up to zero. FSR, if he's clinical, that's about his middle name the past 15 months. Can double his lead here. Yeah, one player's won the biggest titles. You know, he's been the player of the season, without a doubt. We all know that. Oh, he's yet to win one of these. And is that going to be the difference? Is that why a couple of mistakes are creeping in at the wrong time for the Yuki Oi? He'd be a very popular winner all over the world on social media. He's a very likable character, Oi. However, that is not going to help him this win, win this match with mistakes like that. He's just not going to cut it. He trails four acts to two. Welcome back. There is some good news for Frax Yuki seven. Oi. Francisco Sanchez race to break. Leading by four racks to two. It's a race to seven, not five. Sanchez, <laughs> he's not on the hill. <laughs> a cliffhanger. Yeah, tough action for Oi. Now trailing after his blitz in the opening two. Now this is close to a miracle. Bow shot, bow in hand. One of the pillars under FSR's game, his break. Start the clock, please. Yeah, the one ball went low, hit the jaw. Cue ball found the top pocket. 
chance for Oi. Big, sorry, Carl. The big question, how much slower is Oi going to play now? You see? Big difference. Yeah, it feels like a couple of racks have got away. So often what you do is you slow down and you, you, you go into kind of safety mode in your mind, don't you? Yeah. But in general, if you see a clear, clear shift in rhythm, then I'm not too sure if that works. I mean, you can tweak your rhythm, but don't go from hyper-aggressive and fast to slow and deliberate. Overcooked his draw shot in the wreck before, from the four to the five. And then ask yourself the question, do I rather we be long or short on this draw shot? There's always a better side. Played this nicely. Roll with right spin or slide, soft stun shot. Yeah, this looks better. Right? A a as a pace. Well, yeah, you've got to change something up, haven't you? Because he's made mistakes. Easy mistakes as well, so... It's like when you break from one side of the table and you hit two or three dry breaks. There's no point in keeping the cue ball there. Crazy that watching a whole different player all of a sudden. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Very rare dry okay, break from Ruiz. Cue ball found the pocket. That give Oi ball in hand. As he pulls a rack back, he will have the break in the next. Over on table two. That match is tied at 3 3. Sanjen's won the last two racks. Jason's just potted the nine ball, though, to go 4 3 up. So both these matches are nicely poised for a good finish here in the semi finals. Which two will make it through to the big one? Rack eight, New York yard break, trailing by four racks Which to three. Deliver it and then run out now. Don't let that creep into your stroke on the break. It is crisp. Good one. It's a downside on how he breaks the balls. The good thing is that he doesn't risk losing the cue ball on the lower side of the table. But it does travel towards the kitchen. So now faced with the long two, needs to go across. Long rail, long rail, back to the Extension middle of the table. Code. <coughs> hmm. Did well to hold it there. But from here, you know, this was a choice. What speed am I more comfortable to make the ball with? Yes, he's having a good look there. His shirt was awfully close to the seven ball. Nice. 
things, but not out of the woods yet. This is all the result of not playing that two ball back and forth. Yeah, that camera angle tells us it looked like his shirt was on it, but of course it's not. Desi was right there. He was deceiving us, the camera angle. Shaw's going through the motions over there. We've got another screen in the con box, so we have the, you know, the option of watching both matches at the same time. Sanji's just got another roll there, not left Shaw a shot, so... Shaw had an easy safety shot. He played it well. He's got to calm down a little bit. He's a bit hot-headed over there. Ooh. Jason. Oh. Super aggressive here. Oh, that's Five bad shot. luck. Wow. Bow in hand. That's bad luck. What a monster stroke by Nayuki Oi. Start the clock, please. They expect it to come over the side pocket there. It's a bad roll. Very brave shot to take on. What a slice of bad luck for New Kyoi there. He tackled the table. Cue ball winning the side. He's lost the rack. There you can see the disappointment. Over on table two. Shaw played a good safety shot. And he paid off. He's now at the table. He's got five balls left. And he's a good chance to get another two rack lead. He was up 3-1 in this match. Stroke to six. Get the cue ball in the center of the table. Now make sure to have a shot on the seven. Wow. Did he make sure? Yeah, that's his firepower. He has Leading no issue <laughs> with playing that long seven. He made it, and he's on the eight. So Shaw looking to go 5-3. The actual scoreline between FSR and Oi on our table. Broke with more oomph this time. Commanding that one ball into the side pocket. <coughs> so if he pushes out and puts the cue ball in the middle of the short rail. Will he attack? He knows that Nayuki Oi is not scared to throw the dice, to take on shots. Push out, Code. Just checking. Now from here, really. Oi will not attack the two ball. I think that's safe to say. With a th three quarter ball hit on the left, the cue ball safe will go to the short rail left of the seven. The two ball will track approximately to the right side of the nine, I feel. Is that something he can work with? I think, I think, yeah. So the only, if you play this as a safety, don't scratch. That's the only thing you play. Don't hit the seven, don't scratch. And the two should be fine. If not, then don't play it. Over on table two, Shaw's just had a golden break to get himself on the hill. He leads Perlovanovic six racks to three. Now, 
Does Sanchez have a combo available? Would rather... Extension code. ...have the two ball available as a pot. He's eyeing up the combination. He's looking where he can bring the cue ball to play it as a shot to nothing. Two-way shot. Clinical. Sanchez race wins the rock. Push out by FSR. Given back. No, played by Nayuki Oi, but he sold out. FSR is up by three. Now you can to break. Trailing by six racks to three. Oh, he's got it all to do in this match. He's going to need to win the last four racks. That is not going to help shot. Alex. That could be his last shot. Oh, in hand. Of this year's Premier League pool. The frustration is pouring out. Start the clock, please. Let two zero. Then those two mistakes. Two glaring errors. That ignited FSR's comeback. From there, the Spaniard kicked on. Does that seven go to the side pocket on the left? And that seems to be a sensible shot. The seven eight combination is lined up pretty decently to the left. What you do a lot, you become good at. And FSR has been finishing major wrecks, major matches and major tournaments for 15 months now. He's pretty clinical. Yeah, this is just bread and butter stuff for Ruiz now. He gets that one chance on the hill and he's been taking them for weeks, for months, for just over a year. He's really flying high in the world of nine ball pool. That and half rotation sets him up perfect. Like they say in the States, if you are good to the cue ball, the cue ball will be good to you. That white rock has made this man a lot of money. He's looking to go to the final, chasing that 20k first prize. And it's 